actually nice question. That would be a communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord, we come before you this evening in an humble manner we know how. Ask your blessings on us as we enter into this meeting, that we as commissioners will act in the best interest of our city without any hesitation on our part as far as the personal gain. And we pray blessings upon our community as we go forth into this holiday season. Bless the blessings upon them as they sit and travel and, and make merry. But may everything be safe and everything be good for our new year. These are all blessings we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Started. First item of business is approval of the minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second for the discussion. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say aye. Motion passes. Next to the bills. Make a motion to approve our bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those say Motion passes. Uh, first item under old business is to review the fire chief. I thought we were going to do it December. Well, or January. January is what I was thinking too. Yeah, we're going to do, we'll do that later. Yeah, after first year, that's when I think it calls for it. So that one can come off. And the next is the bid for the city hall remodel. We did open the bids last Thursday. Came in at, and I don't know the exact numbers on it, from 424,000. 424,000. Even? Okay. Yeah. So we are a little bit higher than what we anticipated, but I do know we've been looking at some things we might can change and maneuver around a little bit. But uh, we had three bidders: Land and Brothers out of Owensboro, Hearts Con uh, Construction out of Owensboro, and Beaverdam Building Construction here local. And Beaverdam Building was the low bidder by about fifty-three thousand dollars, more than ten percent. So uh, it's safe to say any changes we would make would not reflect or make any changes would not cause any changes in that. Uh, we just have to decide what we want to do if we want to go for it and then work with them on making those, some of those changes or go ahead and do it as is. Uh, coming in on the budget, we come out of reserve or do something we have to How much over the budget? 124. So it's and that's not counting that's not counting furnishing either and was there a reason it was so much over seems like we had a bad with architects the, the, the last two to three we've used for anything missed the bid price well and but part of it too we've had two hurricanes that's come through i know building so materials is up i know that that's one of the reasons but still i didn't think it would be that much Hundred and twenty four thousand is a pretty far distance. Is there enough stuff that you can cut and tweak? Can well they will take the whole hundred and twenty four now. But we hopefully maybe make some changes to make some difference in no. that hopefully no. maybe Does it change just that twenty Well, uh, for example, some of us light fixtures. Uh, we would still stay with the LED and high energy efficient, but was it they just kinda of the Cadillac of fixture spec and gotcha. There's some thing to go down on there. There's some concrete work that can be done. They're going to like the rain going out into the rain. can be done. Really and we And everybody did the same thing. So everybody was apples to apples with yeah. the contract. And that's just going to make changes going forward. There's going to be a change order to make up that difference? Not all of it. Well, I don't think we're going to get any cheaper bids, so we need to either do it or not do it. And uh, if we can make some change orders and cut down as much as we can out of it, and then we really pinch pennies the rest of the year, well, we can put it. the money back in reserves because I'm not for borrowing. I'd see it good. It's all possible. 
So I'll make a motion. Well, if, if we don't do it, we're going to have to come up with something yeah. for the police. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There has to be something. We I'll stay with that. Keep motion. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor say the five that. Aye. Opposed say. Motion passes. Next item, the first item under new business is the Tourism Commission appointment. And uh, this would be, we'll get a tourism member in these time. Kind of like getting this back to you. As mm -hmm. Mary. Mm -hmm. And then we talked to Sam back, back in September. Sam Offer has agreed to, to be on the commission. And we appoint, I put him up for appointment to fill her entire time. Move to appoint Sam Offer to the Tourism Commission. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And I'm going to put something in here before we go to visitors' comments because I think I know what the visitors may want. Uh, it wasn't on the agenda, but we need to discuss the alley. Is that what y'all here to talk about? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So I thought we were going to do that right now. The alley behind this. The the third, the between second and third. Uh, Scott has asked us to close this end of it as far as for through traffic. It will have to stay at least for pedestrians because it has to stay open because of water lines or sewer lines that are under it. It goes all the way through. And he has proposed giving in exchange the other alley between the two buildings so there could still be some through traffic through there. Now, you all own a building there, so I'm going to come to you next. What's your thoughts? <clears throat> well, we're, we're okay with that. I just want to make sure that was what it was, how it's going to be, but we discussed it. And we're okay with it. You know, we can still, are we going to be able to go out either way besides just through the two buildings? Or, you know, is it going to go into a two way alley? He's taking four foot of the alley, is what he's taking. Now, yeah, I don't know if I, I, I know that, but I'm talking about getting going out the other way. You now, we can go between the two buildings, the warehouse and Scott's other building there. But well, yeah. one of my question is, sometimes if there's a truck pulled up there, is it okay for us just to go out? So you want to go backwards? You want it to yeah. cease being a one way, in other words? Correct. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's for convenience. Because for so many years, people didn't pay attention to that. Well, I pretty much do that anyway. Don't tell Mike. People just kind of go. Well, I know. Daddy always says, "I'm just going one way, anyways." I really noticed on the other one between 62 and second. Man, it's like they always come. From 62 yeah. to second. Yeah, I've seen people come through it both ways. But as far as we're concerned, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. You may be coming out sometimes, somebody try to turn in, of course, somebody one of your neighbors, most likely. So you all have to I don't see it. Decide who's going to back hurt up. us that much because we'll still be able to pull up there and unload <laughs> back in there, leave the trucks in there, which we do a lot now because hardly anybody goes through there. And they won't be able to fuss about your block now either. Yeah. So, yeah. If people are still going to be able to walk through there, I think that's a good, good idea. Well, it would help with, with Scott's parking lot and yeah, stuff like that. They'll have to be able to leave. Well, like I said, we well, have no we choice. Just, we that. just feel like getting him in here is going to be a big help to us because uh, he's trying to fix up the back end to where his parking will be right there. And, uh, you know, we've already started making some improvements to the back of our store to maybe to try to get people to come into the back and see what's the front. And Chris had mentioned to me once before, it looks pretty hairy back there sometimes. And I, yeah. I had told her that I felt like improvements were coming down the pike and as more businesses are filling up, mm -hmm. then yeah, it needs to look better in that alley. And we didn't sure. notify all the other people that nobody seemed to have a problem with it. So. I haven't even had contact with me. We don't, we don't have a problem with it. We were just no. coming to listen, well, see what discussions were. Well, I know, for Chad and I already talked about it a little bit, so I kind of knew, knew that, but that's why I thought I'd just go ahead and bring that topic up first. Mary, did you make any my call here? I haven't taken any phone calls. All right, you're talking about it. And we sent the same letter to everybody and hand delivered, so make sure we've got where it needed to go. Are we we are bad we did decide it's better to deed than to easement? Do we have a description? Not yet. We didn't get to that point until we knew what was gonna happen. I just 
I wanted to make sure I didn't anticipate. And like I said, I'd already talked to Jeff and uh, talked a little bit to Keith Shepard early on, and I didn't think it was, but I, before we spent a lot of time and effort. There, there is going to be a switching of property, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, somebody gets me the description, we do the So, how much property will Scott be transferring from behind the bank to the other alley? Like behind our store, will we still be able to park behind our store? Oh, he he oh, won't yeah. be affected. Nothing behind your bill will be affected. Nothing. Okay. He was just saying transfer of property that I'm, well, that piece of property behind our store will be. It'll still just, be part of the city's. Okay. It'll just be directly behind uh, Scott's building, yeah. right? Kind of like down your line and his line. We're going to shoot a straight okay. line out. We're just going out. We can't go very far because again, the sewer line. But well, the next city had a problem with us like parking there. You know, since it's going to be blocked anyway. I, I mean, all we're going to make park a truck there when we're during the day. Didn't drive through anyway. So I don't it's know. never been a problem. So I see why. Or we we're not we're just needing four foot. Or right. we're not right. running the yeah, whole We can't because, because of the, the lines. The lines we can't. Yeah. And he can't build over the top of our lines either. So. Yeah. Yeah. And what he's going to wasn't going to come to the lines. He's going to come over a water line, but it's his water line. Yeah. I think we're doing something different on it anyway. So. Larry, would that be set out where the easement is? Oh, okay, go ahead. Water on. I mean, the footage that's, that's going to be deeded to Scott, if I understand it, it's four foot. Well, I understand it's four foot, but, but does it have, if I understand what y'all just said a minute ago, it's got a water line under it or something? There's a water and a sewer line, yeah. but, and, and we're, saying four, we're saying four foot, that may be premature. Well, because where the property stakes actually is, he may only need that's, that's, that's right. The board 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 that has no alley. We're doing the board 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 Whatever, and like I say, it won't be four foot because he owns probably a foot and extra foot of it already. Yeah, yeah. but we're, I, that's what we've always called this four foot. Yeah, it would just come. It would just come out to the edge of that sewer line, whatever that. Whether it be a foot or two foot. <coughs> I like that motion. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. We have further discussion. Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion. I need to abstain on that. Okay. Motion passes. Okay, there's your comments. Anything else? Besides? No. Okay. Mike, do you have anything? He's late like to get started. On and have you had any, any, anybody apply yet? Uh, we've had two that picked up application uh, declined because he was uh, making more money than what he was going to make here and still talking to uh, another gentleman. But we're not ready to go forward with that. You can hire somebody right now. Okay. Uh, not much going on. You asked me, there is a regional sewer meeting in the morning. Uh, I don't know whether there'll be anything going on or not. Uh, Hartford is supposed to have all their back uh, issues paid up by the end of this month. And uh, our discount we've been getting runs out this month. So there may be some activity on either one or both of them. So. Nothing else going on. Okay. I don't have much other than street signs on First Street status there, and then the side of the road there where the tire biter, anything been done about that? I had that written down. Speed limit sign these third and these first. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we got the one on. We did one on. We got one on Liberty Road. And I think they put one up on East First, but East Third, I don't think we have. Yeah, there was one on Liver when I saw okay. it. And there's one on First when you're going East, I believe. But I think there's nothing. And I don't know what the, the standard is because there's one on Liberty. You guys probably travel a lot more, you know. But then when you come around that curve all in there, there's no speed limit okay. sign in that area. So you want one coming, coming West as well? 
Or there's not. That's where I had a complaint okay. that yeah. there wasn't one, and someone got a ticket. Okay. Has anybody talked to you about the alley behind the photography place on Main Street? Right now? <laughs> there's a no parking sign there that's faded to where you can't read it, and the alleys get blocked a whole lot. And some of the people in that block access their houses from behind, and they'd like to have a new sign put up. Oh. And there's two pretty big holes in the thing that could stand a little gravel. Right. Right where you turn in behind Michael Hoskins there on that alley. I don't know. It looks like it might have been a sewer line running across there or something. He said he was going to call it that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no. Unless it was a number I didn't recognize that it was a message. What sign do you want to change? It says no, do not block alley or no parking or something right where you go in from uh, from this end going the other way. Good. We'll probably have something next month. We're doing okay this month. Okay. The only thing I, I talked to, try, to Larry about it a couple times, talked to him last year, talked to him again this year. The only thing that I really have a question about, it's not a problem or anything. We've done it without it before, but we've been asked if, and, and Larry knows this, we've, we've avoided this for about as long as we can, I guess. Should we put a porta potty down at the park for winter? Because we winterized the toilets down there now, and there's no pot, no, no facilities down there. Now, again, I don't have a problem with not doing it. We, we've never done one before. This is what six year, fifth or six year. But I do know that's where we get our biggest complaints during winter is there's no place to go to the bathroom down there. I don't have a problem if we don't do it. I don't have a problem if we do do it. I don't. I forgot what it was going to cost us. We talked about it one time. It's like. $150 a month. month. Yeah, and we'd have to do it for at least what four months probably. And uh, that's really, I mean, I'm good with not doing it because we've never done it before anyway. But if you all think it's, if you all hear anybody that's complaining about it, I've heard a couple of complaints about it, not a lot. But that's the during the winter time. That's the complaint I get is, well, there's no place to go to the restroom down there. What's your recommendation? Five people use the restroom down there over a four month period. There might be 500 use the restroom down there in a four month period. I don't know. There's no way to really judge it because we've never done it before. And I don't know that putting one down there is going to make it that much better or that much worse. It's just kind of a catch 22. We don't really know. But again, it's $150 that we'd be taking out of our budget to put down there for four months, which would be $600. And that's quite a bit of money for people just to go to the bathroom park. They won't give us a discount if we do it for no. And again, I'm not I do not have a problem not doing it. I just I just want y'all to be aware of it that you might start getting complaints about it. Because that's what I get during the winter is complaints on that. There's no restaurant. No. Something to think about. And I was gonna ask too the lights on the parking lot. Why are they not on? No so not coming on. The ones uh, on the timer? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, see, I remember I called you about that about a month ago, and I asked why they weren't on. They're, I mean, they're on the timer. I don't know about unless somebody's gotten in there and turned the. We, we've, had, we've had some issues with people at the farmers market, not the farmers market people, know. but some of the vendors may be setting up. Uh, I'll, I'll check the breakers when I leave here. I just noticed they're not on, and the solar lights that are going on part of the walking trail as part of the, the mm -hmm. land and water grant were to be shipped today, so we should okay. be getting those here in another week or two. You've been up with all the time. That I've been up power outage or reset that timer? No, well, it, it shouldn't. It, it shouldn't, but I'll, I'll check. Well, that, you know, no power to yeah. that timer, it's going to be yeah. behind. Yeah. Whether we do or not, I just say with the, with the solar lights that's coming, there will be some be a little more lighting out there than what we've had in the past. Too, yeah. I mean, and that's a good thing. I yeah, but, but it may be more people may be using it that you want to have. And again, that is thank you all. But also, do you think people will be? I know. Do we still lock it at night? Do they still lock it at night during the winter? I don't know. Mike, do y'all still lock that up at night? I don't See, I'm wondering if we get those solar powered lights. There'll be people down there walking in the middle of the night. Not same people, but you know, somebody <laughs> might be down there. Well, they want to get in there. They can still park it. Oh yeah, just walk in. I'd rather go ahead and lock it. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, we have been. They want to walk after dark. They could park on the highway and walk on in. 10 o'clock? Or 9. As far as I'm saying, you do it at 8 or 9 o'clock. Yeah, right? yeah, they would be in there at 8 o'clock at night. Cool Damn. as it is. Cool as it is. What time are you going to unlock it? What time y'all want to unlock it? I mean, seven. At eight, seven? Seven or eight. That many earlier than that? Probably, probably not, because there are people out there. When I go to work at 645, there's people out there walking. Yeah. So y'all y'all just tell tell me when you want it open. I'll make, I say make sure it gets open. Seven. Six. Six. Close six. at eight. Like I said, I said seven, six. Six. Eight, eight, eight to six. Eight to six. All right. Six to eight. You want it unlocked at six, right? That's what I said. And close at eight. Yeah. Okay. Eight to six. <laughs> close for me. Yeah. Okay. He's saying one way you're saying it. Same thing. Well, I just different. And the thing is, because we always tell people, you know, there may be something come in down there at six thirty, and the guy's not unlocked because Cody had a call. So yeah, you live with it. And then we'll have to change that as the day. Yeah, as the time of year changes. That's all I have. That's the, I just want to bring that to your attention because I do get complaints about that. And the other people at the cemetery, they don't complain at all. But when they do, they really, they're really much. Only thing I have is just, just more or less for informational purposes. I think, uh, of course, week, last weekend we had our Christmas festival and parade, and I think everything was a huge success. I will say that not only did we make CNN news, we made Fox News as well. Uh, I didn't either. Facebook, Facebook. Facebook. Well, Darren had one of the farm supply places called him. They had seen it and was hearing about it. Are we going to top it next year? I don't know. We're already working on that, though. I was going to say, Darren, what kind of equipment he's playing on behind us? Well, my plane was just working. Like, oh, we could fly I don't trust you flying through. over the crowd. I'm, I'm sorry. I might reduce the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep it on the ground. Everybody seemed to be well satisfied with everything for the whole weekend. So that went well. Of course, the they did announce the John Prine concert for the... Uh, uh, tourism Commission, and I know one level of tickets sold out within an hour's time, and the other tickets have sold quite well so far. So that's something different. We've not done that before with this type of setup in this early, and that's one thing with the uh, heat there. Heat and Mod, the ones who set this one up, and he's been working the do you think whole thing on marketing and so. Do you think it's because that people are buying for Christmas tickets? Because, you know, we talked about that a couple of years ago. We thought if we could get them before Christmas, people might buy well, them for Christmas. Part of this I don't think was because the, the first two days when we had the bulk of the sales was a passport protected. You had to be something on their fan page of, of crimes in order to even get to Oh, okay. Us. Then we went on sale to the general public on Friday, and they've sold quite well even since then, but, which part of that would probably come into play with that. With the, no. Well, like I said, we had talked about that once being you know, if we could sell them as Christmas gifts, how much yeah, that I know there's out. another concert that is coming up on August the 4th that he thinks maybe we're going to be able to go and sell as early as sometime at the end of this week. To try to yeah. again, pushing the holiday thing. Christmas. But again, and again, we talked about that, that's something that I think is a good idea because I do think we get some benefit from that. It's going to get a ticket for so, And then uh, since about the, the solar lights are on, from the, or shipping, so that should be coming in. Uh, Larry, do you have anything? I do have a kind of an update on the amphitheater building, concession plan, uh, slash storage. Uh, we had to back up and get permitted through the state. Uh, so that, that's been a process. Hopefully have a, everything lined out by this Friday. Uh, then we'll be ready to start with electrical and the plumbing and, and the HVAC plans uh, to submit the state as well. Who we have to get we're going to have to get through the state. Building, building that code permit. We didn't have to get, we didn't have to get through the state to the county? Correct. County didn't have to. No. We, actually, like we, we was told up front we, we wouldn't have to get a permit. We didn't think we'd have to have one because uh, it's not That's open. what I thought. We'd already had that taken care it's of. It's not open to the interior for anybody to come in, but that is something that's changed. <laughs> so we're uh, hopefully, hopefully have everything uh, ready to rock and roll by this, by this Friday. Of course, it's still bad weather. We don't want to wait too long. Uh, then, kind of an update from 
Kentucky League of Cities today, and you received some information that the uh, state retirement, the ERS and uh, KRS and everything, is going up almost 10% come July 1 of next year. So that's going to be roughly 60, 60 plus thousand dollars extra that we will be submitting to state retirement. Just kind of keeping about your mind when we start on the budget in a few months. And I, I want to back up a little bit and I, I think I understood it's going, it's not going up 10%, is it? it's going up about 50 .000. Well, right now, right now, what we have to uh, send in for the city on payroll is 19.18%. Uh, and you have one, it's going up to 28.04%. Yeah. So it's actually going up about 50% based on what we've been paying. Right, right. It's just percent wise, not, yeah. So, uh, kind of keep that in the back of your mind when we start to Well, and the sad part is the, the CERS that the county, cities and counties are in is doing very, quite well as far as the percentage of funds they have available and even what it's done in the last couple months. The state's didn't go quite so well. And the last thing I have is when we do the remodeling, uh, where are we going to move the place to? Mike and I had talked and discussed and went down to look at the fire station and maybe moving them over to the front two offices downstairs just to save money on the trailer rental, which is going to be roughly $3,500. Well, two things on that. One is if you move in the fire department, then you got to move the fire department out somewhere where you're going to put them. So put them upstairs. I know, but you're disrupting one agency and another one. It's still not an adequate room. But the way these bids come in, they're going to be using, they won't use all of the building. They'll just get part of it and do it like we initially contracted unless there's something come up and change. I mean, that's what he bid it. But there, there's still going to be a time period we have Yeah, to there'll be out. a couple months, two to three months. Did you check on the building you was talking about up there, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. I think I can get a trailer for about, about 3000 That's it. Actually, it's a container, office container is what it is. But that was for how long? Uh, that was uh, that was six months, and didn't have to do it for six months. Right. But, but I was just kind of figuring, you know, that's about three thousand. Uh, I forget how much it was. One of the big things is they charge a delivery fee and a pickup fee, like four hundred dollar delivery fee, four hundred dollar pickup delivery fee. Seemed like me the rent one of them was like three seventy five. Somewhere along there. And that also had room for storage to take all your Yeah, that, that was an 8 by 40 with a double door in the back where you can bring your stuff that we need to keep with us. You can roll it right in like evidence lockers, say, things like that. You can roll it right in versus having to go through a walk through door. That's just going to be another fence. I mean, time you, time you rent it, you run your, your electrical to it and your phone lines to it. Well, the electrical won't be out of a big deal because Mike and I talked, we set over at the fire station, we've got electrical outlets on both ends of that fire station hook too. Uh, these well, I mean, you'll, you'll still pay the electrician to it up. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to keep the fees down. I don't so, know what you'll have to have them. Maybe a plug you can do. The only plug we have over is 30 amp. And the, the heating and air is going to pull more than that. Well, I used to have one. We just plugged it. was a 220 plug-in thing, but it, it came with a plug-in. It was kind of like a dryer or stove plug. That's how they hooked up. Okay. We couldn't go get it, I don't guess. I don't know what you're trying to do. Okay. Well, we have a little time to work on that one and how the best way to do it. The cheapest one was out of wool. That's the cheapest one. How long the project is going to be? Well, it's a few lives. We're not sure when they're going to be disrupted. I think the way the, this contract read, the first part of it is to do this person right. getting ready to move this commission room stuff out there. Okay. I think it was March 15th, I believe. Be done by March 15th. Maybe March started, whatever. And then once all that got moved, and then they get this part of the building and it has to be done by June 15th. Uh, Thank Now. There was a alternate in the plans to take the whole building at one time, which would have been, I think, cheaper. It wouldn't work. And everybody's going to have to make it. 
So there's some things we may work on. There's even part of the cost savings with that too. Anything else? Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I do have a question on Larry. The, the increase from the Kentucky leagues, is that just catch up? Once, once, it's, once it's paid up from the increased assessment, does it then go back? I have no idea. Yeah. Every year, about this, every year, about the time we get a an es estimated raise or deduction. Our police department, I've always said, are second to none. And very good. Very good. Well, if we're going to have a much bigger parade, we're going to have to find a lot more room up at the schools. All well, I had a suggestion that we line up at the park and yeah. go the other direction. The right. And then, if, if the parade continues to be at Hartford after ours, all the floats and everything are already headed the right direction, and you have less of a traffic jam, everybody trying to get turned around. The only thing, the park's not big enough to line it up. You don't think if you went all the way around the circle? I don't know, man. It would be tough. There's a lot because of stuff Because we were lining up. They were lining up at the funeral home. They were lining up on Kevin's. School, up on my property. At, at the uh, Lost Max. Max. And they were lining up at the school. everywhere. How thing, they all got in there is what I was amazed at. Well, I think what's one thing that's going to help next year, we're going to need more people. That's what we're finding that out. Because people won't do what you think would make common sense. Well, and why not does everybody have to think they have to drive in there and drop their kid off? Drop the kid off at the gate. Let them walk in there. It would save so much trouble. The, traffic, the traffic would be so much better. You know, the high school football game, uh, they, they, they got to drive them over the field, drive them off, and come back out. Well, the, the loop, that, what we call the bus loop out front, that's where they line the floats up. And Kevin, we ran out of room. What, well, really, we really? didn't. Because it didn't all that. I got far. up there, and you'd have one here, and there'd be 40 feet, and there'd be another one, and 20, 30 feet, pull up and close they just wouldn't. So, and this year... And that's some of the things we kind of learned because that was new where we did that at. And I think that made a huge difference by moving them up front. We did gain some room when you went up there and moved some up. We uh, did get a couple more in there. But uh, still, there was still a lot of room. Well, but we had enough room to come do the second round right inside. We wanted to try to go up the wall of the church and have some things light up there and come down like a polarized thing. Come down in park two. You might have two places to go if we want to try that way. But that's what worked real well with the funeral home. Well, I had said we could have took them over and put them in a cemetery we had here. Well, that's, that, that was, was our other, backup uh, to the funeral home. Other, yeah, that was my, my next thing. Was going, we were going to, going to the cemetery. Because I just thought, man, that, that, that just, we're running out of room. It got, it was a lot of people up there. Well, there was, there was an issue, too, with the, uh, okay. some ball games going on. Yeah, that, that, did, that did create not a problem, initially. But that created more of a traffic flow to problem, too. But, you know, but did you all well, any points? Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I talked to you. From Jason, he didn't know of any. The only person I heard complaining was Les Johnson. That he said he wished he'd been doing this all along. He had so much fun. I've I I seen him I laugh so much. At what was, he just was having a ball out there talking to all those people. Yeah, he had. He just had a really good time. You think let's talk to everybody anyway? Well, mm -hmm. he's not out and about as much. Yeah. He doesn't see you as well, and he's just not. Well, he's out our volunteer. Oh yeah. yeah, he was. He told me that day. He we'll said, have we're to put a miner's lamp on him so he can see though. Oh, it was so funny. He was just having a party. I think we're going to keep our four o'clock. That was that worked real well. It was perfect timing for the lights to go on because it just was almost dark when they come through town. Yeah, it was still daylight when they were lining up. And, yep. and like I said, we met with Hartford on and they chose the six six thirty route. So we're just gonna, yeah, I'm fine. With that. We've already got our schedule at four o'clock next year. Started planning that way. And you know what? I, I have to admit too. I thought downtown ran better this time. It seemed like there was more going on. A lot more stores were open. Like just, I don't know. A lot more a lot stores more, that are. It's more fun. I enjoy being down there. Keep yelling year, at me while I was on the carriage ride and fussing at me. And, and next year, with the restaurant being open, you're going to see even more. Yep. And we need to always get the cars moved off the main street there, too. We've had one or two with the cars still there, and it just doesn't. Um, you got kids darting out amongst them and everything else. We had to get the cars off this time. We yeah. never got Santa Claus through. <laughs> I don't know. I, he might have lift that head up enough to 
He folds the head folds up. You know, it folds I know, up, but, but I just he said he can't see when he does that. He probably squashed that and folds it. Yeah, better <laughs> time. Okay, well, I don't have anything else. Anything? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Six thirty-seven, man. Is that a record? Yeah. <laughs>